Hey guys, I'm back here again from CNA Small Engine. We got a quick video. Uh, finally joining our club, so we'll be up at the range up here, and uh, we got the uh, range all set up right now. Uh, I'll be testing out the 50-yard uh, uh, targets and the other 50-yard target over here as well too. They got two 50s. Uh, they got one 100 in the back, and they also have uh, one 200 in the way back there as well too. So uh, you got 50 that is the closest one. The other one's 100, and the one all the way to the back is a 200-yard target. And I brought up my uh, two uh, M16A5, uh, you know, semi-auto clones up here for today. So I want to test them up because I haven't shot them in a few months here as well, too. So we'll be trying these things out. That's the uh, M16A5 clones. We've got a semi-automatic uh, M16A5 clone, and that's what they look like right there for that. Got them all tricked out, so we'll be trying these things out up here today. I got the uh, various ammunition we'll be trying up here as well too. We got the uh, uh, Gecko GT or DTX um, super, uh, stuff right here. I told you about before. It's uh, good ammunition, and we also got a bunch of different mags up here as well too. We'll be trying that. Got the good old uh, drum magazine. I'll, I'll probably put it by five or ten rounds in that thing. I uh, got the good old Colt one right here as well too. Colt mag. I uh, got the uh, Bulgarian mag here as well too. Uh, we got the good old. Um, I'm going to call it the HK uh, Gen 3 Poly Mag right here as well, too, for that. And we also have the uh, uh, Puff Gun, Russian Puff Gun uh, Generation 1 magazine. Uh, we also got a uh, Thrill USA magazine here as well, too, for that. That's good. So that's basically a brand new magazine to market. And I also got the um, other magazines over here we have as well, too. I got the, um, I'm going to call it ETS magazine and the Brownells Retro, uh, Retro magazine. Uh, we also got the, uh, where's it at here? This is the uh, ASC magazine right here for that. ASC with the uh, door lube or molly lube. Whatever they, they got coating on this thing right here. Uh, let me see what else we got. The Lancer magazine. Got the good old uh, Gen 3, um, the PMAG Gen 3 from Magpul right here as well too. This is the one with the camo pattern on here as well too for that. Uh, got another one here. We got the um, Tango Dime magazine. The uh, Gen 2 magazine here for reference. You got the uh, USGI improved enhanced uh, tan magazine as well too. This is the uh, US Army's enhanced one for the M855. Let me put that down over there. Uh, got another one. Got the, um, uh, this is the uh, yeah, Beretta one right here. This is the Beretta USA magazine. The uh, steel, steel magazine. Put that down over there. And we got the uh, good old HK uh, Maritime Magazine here for as well too. This is the uh, German HK Magazine with the uh, you know probably about the best anti-tilt follower you can buy. And I think I think I have two in here. I think I have two in here. I think I got two of them in there. Yeah, so I got two of the HK uh, Maritime uh, Magazine. You got the uh, HK logo right. Let me see if I can get a better. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, it doesn't want. It doesn't. Stupid. There you go. HK and I bought them. So that's a good old Maritime Magazine. Got a lot of wear, you know, got a lot of wear in that one. So that's everything we got up here. We got the ammunition. I only brought uh, two different types, or I should say, I brought three different types. Let me, let me, let me rephrase that. So we got the uh, DTX Gecko, we got the Federal, and we also brought, I bought one box of the good old green tip up here as well, too. So we'll try them all three up here today and uh, see how everything functions. And I will be, I, I gotta get the target set up right now. So uh, bear with me here for a few minutes and we'll get the target set up. And we'll report back on the overall shooting uh, up here as well, too, guys. I'll see you.